So, this is Solm. It's very... sandy. The Queendom's land is covered in deserts. I believe this one is called Tula, and... as you've no doubt noticed, it's much hotter than in Illusia. I fear I may melt. What now, Divine One? We'd better head straight to the palace. I just hope the Hounds haven't gotten there first. During my time in Illusia, the Four Hounds did pay a few visits to Solm, but they came back empty-handed each time, so I expect the palace is unharmed. Thanks, Ivy. Pretty handy having an enemy as a friend. I will choose to take that as a compliment. Which emblem ring was entrusted to Solm? The Radiant Hero. Said to be among the most powerful. Needless to say, it would be quite a boon. Sounds like exactly what we need right now. Let's get going. Let's see... Which way to the palace again? Divine One, I believe we passed that enormous rock earlier. What? Really? <sighs> All this terrain looks the same to me. I wish I could help. My knowledge of Solmic geography comes only from maps. Wait a moment. Prince Alfred, Prince Diamant, your nations are allied with Solm. Haven't you gone to the palace before? I did, but quite a long time ago. I don't remember the way. I traveled from Firene. I've got no clue how to get there from Elusia. So none of us knows where to go. <sighs> All right, I'll say it. We're lost. I'm afraid so. We can't afford to waste time. I wonder if there's a landmark to go by. <sighs> hey! You don't look like you're from around here. What's with the outfits? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to startle you. But I took one look and thought to myself, self, they are lost. And, uh, who are you? Who am I? I'm the guy. Here to keep the peace in Tula Desert. Call me Fogato, yeah? As captain of the Sentinels, it's my duty to help people in need. You find folks need a hand, just let me know. Thanks for that. As for myself, I'm the Divine Dragon, from Lethos. Wait, yo? Uh, uh... You're telling me the Divine Dragon is here, in my desert? No kidding? Yes. Oh, I had no idea. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. You weren't. There's no need to be formal with me. Didn't expect you to be casual. That's cool. Uh, but hey, what brings you all out to my piece of the world? We're on our way to Solm Palace, but we don't know how to get there. This is your lucky day. Come on, just follow me. If I know how to get anywhere, it's the palace. You don't mind? Of course I don't. You know what's out there? Sand, as far as the eye can see. And I would rather you not have to deal with that. Lucky we met, huh? <laughs> Thank you, Fogato. We appreciate your help. Ah, <laughs> don't sweat it. Oh, you know what? I do have a quick errand to take care of first. An errand? What kind of errand? More of a mission. See, not too long ago, these freaky creatures started appearing everywhere. As captain of the Sentinels, when I get a report about a problem in the desert, I take care of it. Sorry about this. You have a sit, and I'll take you to the palace right after I'm done. Actually, why don't we come with you? We can help. Well, that'd be great. My friends went ahead of me. Let's go meet up with them. The problem's even worse than I expected. Hey, there they are. Pendreo, Rene. Fogato, you're late. I was starting to think you wanted us to die out here. With any further delay, these creatures would have made a meal of us. Sorry about that, fellas. But hey, I brought help. Help? What do you mean, help? Oh, Pandreo, my pious friend. This is really gonna blow your mind.
Hello. I'm the Divine Dragon. Nice to meet you. Oh, it's the Divine Dragon! The Divine Dragon! Hang on! What were you thinking, bringing the Divine Dragon here? That hair! Like two scoops of sorbet swirling together in the desert heat. Hey, save it for the kitchen! That's a deity you're talking about! I knew this would get you too fired up. Divine One, these are my sentinel friends. What do you say? Ready to handle a mission with us? Ready. Let's do this thing, Sentinels. And, uh, guests. Finally! Time to get this party started! I will serve up a most deadly dish. Before I forget, watch out for those patches of quicksand. That stuff will really slow you down. I can fight. I'm ready. I'm sorry you're stuck with me. No mistakes. For you, anything. Let's go. Allow me! Now I'm angry. You put up a good fight. Anything. Divine One, it's such an honor! Please, use my abilities as you see fit. I can use my staff to warp you or an ally somewhere far away on the battlefield. Got it. I'll go first. They're cooked. Here we go! Quite the party!
A savory dish indeed. No one can beat me. Understood. Bonds give me strength.
I will never give up. Let's begin. I'll change the future into hope. <laughs> if not for your help, I would be no more. Take this item. I bet it'll be of use. It's like this. Glad to have peace in these parts again. Please, mend your wounds with this. Phew! You really got me out of a jam there. Here's something for your trouble. Well... Right. It can't be. Nice! Right. <clears throat> Very nice. Thanks. Thank you. Nice going. You really showed him what the Divine Dragon can do. Now, to Soul Palace. Stay close. I'd hate for you to split off and get lost. Again. Thanks, Fogato. This ought to be interesting. It's been years since I visited the palace. Years? I thought Solm and Firinay had a good relationship. Our countries are allies, sure, but that doesn't mean our families are close-knit. In fact, out of Solm's whole royal family, my mother and I have only met Queen Sephoria. What? No one else? Nope. Not the royal consort, not the crown princess, and not her brother the prince. That's strange. I never met them either. 
Same thing happened to you, huh? I may have forgotten the way to the palace, but I remember well what happened there. It was a strange scene. The queen received us alone, with no one attending her. When we asked to meet the princess and prince, she told us they weren't there. She told us the exact same thing! I asked when they'd be back, and she said, no idea. It didn't make sense. If you're royalty, you can't leave your castle whenever you like. I got the feeling she was hiding them from us. But why? Were they sick or shy? Shy? That would surprise me. Everyone we've met here has been so friendly. The Queen is too. There are just some things about the royal family that don't add up. Let's be on guard, alright? Got it. We're here! Solm Palace. Now all that's left is asking those guards to open the gate. Thanks for leading the way, Fogato. I don't know how we'd have gotten here without you. Of course. Just another day in the life of a sentinel. I'll be sure to commend you to the Queen. Anyway, now we'd better be on our way. Huh? Uh, Fogato, what are you doing? Talking to the guards! What else? Does he have a meeting with the Queen as well? Beats me. Maybe he's here on some kind of sentinel business. Fogato, wait for us! Hey, I'm home! Home? Welcome back, Prince Fogato. I'll open the gate. Yes, let the gate be open! Prince. Did that guard say Prince? Uh, unless we misheard him. In exactly the same way. Thanks for waiting, folks. Fogato, we're a little confused. Are you... the Prince of Solm? Did I not mention that? Uh, no. You didn't. Whoops! <laughs> Egg me face! Right, let me do this properly. I'm Fogato, Captain of the Sentinels and the Prince of Solm. Welcome to my family's palace. Come on in. You wanted to meet Mom, right? Mom! Visitors! What is happening? I didn't realize he was royalty. A prince personally going on patrols. Not something you see every day. I wonder why we never met him before. He doesn't seem sick. He's certainly not shy. It's a mystery. Anyway, let's head in. Don't want to keep Prince Fogato waiting. <laughs> Stolen, miserable, torn apart from your friends. How delicious. Lady Vale. Zephia, tell me, what are the Divine Dragon's forces up to? They pass through the shadowy moor. It appears they've arrived in Solm. So they did not return to Brodia. They're gathering more rings. Good. Can we go after them, Lady Vale? I'm itching for a rematch. Patience, Marnie. If we wait, we can steal Solm's ring from them along with the others. Oh, smart. I'll be a good girl and wait then. You are a treasure, Marnie. Isn't she just? The pride of the Four Hounds. <laughs> you two really heap on the praise. That's why I love ya. <laughs> You're such a child. Praise is for chumps. It's much more fun to be punished. Worry not, Gris. You will soon have all the agony your heart could want. That's what I like to hear. The perks of the gig right there. And you, Mavir? How would you like to be rewarded? Nothing for me, my lady. You won't even say my name. How cold. Uh... That's all right. For now, we wait. We watch. And then, when the time comes... <clears throat> Lady Vale? I've been awake for too long. I must sleep. Here are your instructions. Zephia, take charge. As you wish.